Contrary to what the federal government claims, hiking taxes on capital gains will affect many middle-class Canadians. Meet Susan and Jonathan. Susan's a teacher and Jonathan a construction worker. They met, found love, and started a family. Wanting to save for their retirement, they bought a small duplex. Those were still affordable in the late 1990s. They lived on the ground floor of that duplex for a few years, renting out the top floor. And when their family began to grow, they moved out and started renting both floors. Today, the couple plans to retire and start the next chapter of their lives. With their incomes from teaching and construction work, they've always considered themselves middle class and with good reason. But this year, the sale of their duplex will make their tax forms look like they're earning somewhere in the mid to high six figures. Of course, over the 30 years, the value of their duplex increased and the difference between what they paid and what they sell it for, well, that's a capital gain. And that will make their annual income this year appear huge. This is what the Trudeau government is increasing taxes on. If Susan and Jonathan manage to sell their duplex before June 25th, they won't be subject to the tax hike. If they sell it after, the tax rate they will pay on this exceptional one-time income will be 33% higher. This is what the government's rhetoric hides when they present it as a tax on the ultra-rich. There are many people in Susan and Jonathan's position, and they too will be impacted by Justin Trudeau's tax increase. Because the truth is, it's not just a tax on 0.13% of Canadians. It's a tax on middle-class futures. To better understand economics and public finance, visit www.iedm.org.